In yet another move showing Russia's ongoing shift away from relying on Western tech and parts, the Sukhoi Superjet 100, now rebranded as the SJ-100, completed its first flight with Russian-made engines on March 17th. People working closely on the program admit there's still a lot of work ahead as this version of the jet moves towards certification and eventual entry into commercial service. According to an official announcement from Rostec, the first test flight lasted roughly 40 minutes. They said the flight task was, quote, completed in full and the power plant showed stable operation. Now, while the Superjet itself isn't new, what is new and significant is that this version is flying with homegrown PD-8 engines. As mentioned earlier, the plane flew for about 40 minutes, hit a speed of 500 kilometers per hour, and climbed to an altitude of up to 3,000 meters. After touching down, the crew commander confirmed the flight mission was completed in full and that the PD-8 engines operated smoothly. During the test, they also evaluated the engine's gas dynamic stability in both steady and changing conditions. Translated from Russian, Denis Mandarov, the first deputy chairman of the Russian Federation's government and chairman of Rostec's supervisory board, commented on the path ahead, saying, To intensify certification tests, the manufacturer plans to connect a third fully Russian superjet to them. We expect that this work will be carried out on schedule. The state provides the necessary financial and resource support for aircraft manufacturers in full. Rostec's general director, Sergei Chemezov, added that this test flight, quote, confirms the correctness of our engineering calculations and the high readiness of the vessel. He pointed out that, by global aviation standards, the project has been moving quickly. This effort was far more than just swapping out engines. In fact, after sanctions were imposed on Russia in 2022 following its invasion of Ukraine, the superjet had to be almost entirely reassembled. Around 40 foreign components and systems were replaced, including the engine, avionics, landing gear, auxiliary power unit, integrated control systems, electrical and air systems, fire protection, and more. The aircraft also got a new domestically built fuselage, redesigned to make production and maintenance easier. The official press release noted that the PD-8 is a two-spool turbofan engine with eight tons of thrust, specifically built for the Superjet. It's made with new Russian materials and cutting-edge technology, and the effort includes cooperation across many enterprises, pulling experience from the development of the larger PD-14 engine. As the Moscow Times pointed out, Russia has committed over $2.7 billion to its homegrown aircraft efforts, including both the SJ-100 and the MC-21. Mass production of the MC-21 is targeted for 2026. The same outlet reports that the country hopes to build over 600 planes by 2030 to replace aging Western-built models, although there are still questions around production capacity and delivery timing. So, what's your take on this milestone flight and what it might mean for Russia's aviation future? Stay ahead in the skies. Subscribe for more aviation updates, airline news and deep dives into the future of flying in style.